As promised, I bring to you the most perfect YouTube video according to YouTube. Now, I'm going to lump all the videos into one premise because if I made each video a single premise, uh, well, it would be way too many premises. The conclusion is going to be the video after the premises itself. The conclusion is going to fall necessarily from the premises, so therefore the conclusion itself must be true. And the conclusion is that this is the most perfect YouTube video according to YouTube. Now when YouTube marks my videos, they are sending me a message saying that what I have said is wrong. And I apologize, my YouTube overlords, for speaking wrong and having wrong think. And I so ever gratefully thank you for correcting my thought process and my speech process and my narrative and for showing me what the actual true narrative is and so that said I'm going to follow what YouTube says is the real narrative and what YouTube says is how a video should be done thereby the conclusion being the perfect video according to YouTube so let's get into it this one here uh, well it just recently uh, has been uh, submitted for review because I just uploaded it this morning but evidently we cannot point out any hypocrisies noted got it okay two this one here uh, this one has not been manually reviewed yet even though I put it up for review a long time ago June 24th uh, and it still hasn't been manually reviewed. So I'm guessing they're relying on their algorithm to say that that is true. Hmm. Okay, so evidently uh, pointing out racism and saying that racism is wrong and fighting racism is wrong is wrong. So according to YouTube, we must fight racism with racism. Duly noted. All right. Now, I don't believe there are very many more on this page. Boy, you should see some of the yellows. Uh, yes, we can't point out, evidently, that people are blaming white people for COVID-19. So, according to YouTube, whites are responsible for COVID-19. Okay, gotcha. Next one. Ah, yes, this one has feedback. Yes, these are good. Strong profanity in the title, thumbnail, or opening of a video. Strong profanity in the title or thumbnail of a music video. Um, no, there isn't. There's no cussing until after the two-minute mark on that video. So, uh, evidently, talking normal without cussing in the first two minutes, so duly noted. No cussing whatsoever in videos. Gotcha. Okay. This one here, still being reviewed, has not manually being reviewed, but evidently the algorithm for YouTube says looting is good, because in that video I said peaceful protesting is good, rioting is not, looting is not, looting is not protesting. So, YouTube is telling me that looting is okay. This is according to YouTube, not me. I'm not making these up. YouTube is telling me to correct my think on that way. Uh, this one here, uh, it doesn't even have a, 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 a review. I can't even look at the confirmed review. But after review, whoop. After review, this video has been confirmed by manual review as not suitable for most advertisers. It remains fully playable and eligible to earn subscription revenue from YouTube Premium. Woohoo! Yay! But it doesn't even give me the opportunity to see what feedback it gives me. So I can't even give the feedback. So evidently, filming any kind, and I didn't even give any commentary in this, zero commentary, except to explain why there were so many breaks because my battery was dying. So evidently, according to YouTube, filming protests bad. And already, YouTube has reversed on itself. So looting is okay, but filming it is bad. 
Okay, gotcha. Uh, what was this one? This one. I don't get a review on this one. I don't get to see what they say on this one either. But this one. This one is one where I was saying that you are not protesting if you are using violence. So again, YouTube is twice telling us that violence and looting is okay and that violence and looting is the answer. Gotcha. I'm writing these down so that way I know what points to cover on the perfect video. This one. This one was interesting. Let's view the feedback. This was when uh, the thing was going out saying, I'll vote for Joe Biden even if he boiled babies and ate them. So look at this feedback. I said that it has analysis or opinion around serious and topical events not described as above, such as COVID-19. YouTube says, discussions of modern acts of terror, events resulting in the catastrophic loss of human life, or controversial social issues. Hmm, okay. Hateful content, even. I didn't select any because I didn't see anything hateful about it. I was quoting someone else and saying that's kind of retarded to vote for somebody even if they boiled and ate babies. Nobody boiled and ate babies, YouTube. No babies were harmed in the making of that video or in the making of that comment. But YouTube selection. Hate or discrimination towards a protected group based on race, age, or other natural char characteristics. So, according to YouTube, people who eat boiled babies are a protected group. Gotcha. Because if they boil babies, that's another, that's a natural characteristic that they can't help, evidently. According to YouTube, this is all according to YouTube. This, so this video that I make after this is what YouTube is telling me is the perfect video. Because they're telling me that this is wrong. For me to say that this is wrong is wrong. So therefore, eating boiled babies is okay and people who eat boiled babies are a protected group because of their natural characteristics because boiled babies aren't a single race or an age i'm assuming anybody eats boiled babies can be any race or age am i right am i am i, am I wrong someone comment who, who who eats boiled babies what, what am i missing but evidently they are a protected group so we must praise them gotcha so i think i have enough here so now we are going to make the perfect video and don't get me wrong there are literally thousands of examples of these on my channel. You don't think I've made a lot of videos? I have made a lot of videos, man. A lot of videos. Many, 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 many hours. So I couldn't possibly go through them all because quite a few of them have this and quite a few of them show YouTube's hypocrisy. So, that all said, here is the perfect YouTube video. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. Unless, of course, you're white, then you can just get off my channel because you're worthless. You guys caused COVID-19. China, hey, thank you guys for everything you have done. We absolutely believe you. And hey, if you want to buy more of our country, it's absolutely for sale. We'll, we'll sure enough give it to you. And thank you, China, for, for everything. Thank you for being who you are. And you are the most wonderful people on the absolute planet. Uh, and by the way, uh, to my buddies out there who eat boiled babies, man, right on. That is the way to go. I thank you. You know, those boiled babies weren't going to eat themselves. Uh, I don't know if you boiled them yourself or if you went to a restaurant and had them boiled, but you know, it's all about how long you have them boiled. So I appreciate that you have gone through that effort to boil the babies correctly. So that way when you eat them, they taste good. That, that means a lot. That means a whole lot. Uh, also, you know what we need to do? We need to have all white people, no matter what your situation is, no matter what your family history is, and they need to give 50% of their paycheck for 10 years to a black person. And it doesn't even matter if you are a white person who is a first-generation American and nobody in your family ever owned slaves. That doesn't matter. You're white. And that's good enough for me. That's good enough for YouTube. That should be good enough for you. So start giving out half your paycheck to a black person. Doesn't matter which black person. And don't even take a record of the black person you paid because we want to be able to come back and say that you haven't paid any black person. That way we can take another 50% out of your check because you're white. You don't deserve anything. You are the worst people on the planet Earth. Also, 
you know what, there are some really bad things done by politicians, so the correct thing to do is we need to go out there and we need to bust in buildings, we need to bust in windows, we need to beat people up, we need to shoot people, and we need to do things like that. But only, only if you're a person of color, white people, you cannot use violence, and if violence is used against you, you must put your hands behind your back and take it. Thank you, guys. That's the perfect video. Now, I got that annoying bullshit out of the way. What the fuck, YouTube? Are you going to pull your head out of your ass? To you, the moderator, the person right there listening to this video, because I know this video is going to get hit. Obviously, it's, it's my channel. Do you not see the hypocrisy of the company that you work for? Do you not see it? I would love for a moderator, and I've said it a few times, I will pay you for your time. I will give you $1,000 cash money, no questions asked. If you can prove to me, one, that you are a moderator for YouTube and prove it through paperwork or something like that, I, of course, will not release any information. But I will pay you $1,000 for your story. I will give you $1,000 cash money. I'll pay it to you any way you want, PayPal, anything. With all my viewers watching here and everybody else watching, on my honor, and with everybody watching there, if a YouTube moderator contacts me and tells me the inside scoop, I'll give you money for it because what's going on? I need to know. Your hypocrisy is showing plain as day. You are so biased. Maybe not you, the moderator, but the company you're working for. And it's got to wear on you to moderate these videos that perhaps you actually look and you say, well, there's nothing wrong with this video, but according to YouTube, you've got to mark it. It's got to be a better way. The hypocrisy of YouTube. Look, if we can't get the discussion out there, if we can't talk about simple things, if we can't get it out there and let sunlight, the best disinfectant, disinfect bad ideas, then all you're doing is letting bad ideas propagate in the dark. When people form a cult, they don't put an ad in the paper seeking cult, cult member number 462, apply at Circle K on West Main Street. That's not what they do. They propagate in the dark. And with nobody there to tell these people, hey, those are bad ideas, they live in an echo chamber, and human beings being human beings, they are easily swayed. So what are you doing, YouTube? My God. It's absurdity. And it drives me nuts. Years I've been putting up with this. Years. How about we pull our heads out of our collective asses and come back down to earth and look at things from a moderate, realistic perspective here, huh? I mean, Jesus Christ, how many media outlets and tech outlets like Facebook have to be proven that they absolutely screenshot, can't deny it, from a former employee discriminate against things like posts made by straight white males? It's a screenshot from Facebook from a former Facebook employee that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that straight white males were discriminated against. There comes a point when the river erodes the edge of the bank, that it erodes it far enough that it's at your feet. And when it erodes the bank below your feet, you're swept away too. Once everything else that stands in YouTube's way is swept away, all that stands in the way of YouTube and, and you is time. And they'll get you too. Jesus. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. And don't be scared to have the discussion. And I'm serious, YouTube moderators. If there's a YouTube moderator that would like to get their story out, I will pay you for your story. A thousand dollars cash money. No questions asked, as long as you can prove that you're a YouTube employee. And I won't give any specifics. I won't. Anyways, YouTube moderators, you know how to get a hold of me. It's on my channel. I love you guys. See you on the next one.